Hey guys, Tim Trich here with Home Connect Solutions. So in this particular video, we are gonna show you guys what you can do when your remote is no longer responding. And it does happen and it can be a little bit frustrating. So check out these steps that you should always take if you can't control your TV with your remote anymore, right after this. <music> Now, dealing with a remote when it stops working can be extremely frustrating and we completely understand that. And depending on what device you're using or which video you're watching, they all kind of have their own method that they use to reconnect the device back up to its counterpart. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the Amazon Fire Stick and we're gonna go over the scenario where nothing you do on this is working or maybe it's only partially working, like it'll turn on the TV but you can't make it move um, the cursor around, okay, like this. Maybe it just, it can't move any things around, but it'll still run the volume or turn the power on and off. We have them where they'll kind of half work sometimes. So in this video, we're gonna cover what to do. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, in all honesty, and it seems stupid, but change the batteries, okay? And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change the batteries. Now, if you've already put fresh batteries in, which again, a lot of times we do have people call us and say, hey, I've already put new batteries in. One thing I wanna throw out here about the batteries for the Amazon Fire Sticks, or really any of these devices, is that they seem to work better when you use name brand batteries. Now, I know money doesn't grow on trees and it's really easy to go buy the big case of Rayovac or whatever brand out there that you can get at Home Depot. But in all honesty, we find that these devices work a lot better if you're using something like Energizer, Duracell, you know, the special kinds of Duracell, but sticking with name brand batteries. Um, the batteries they come with are kind of cheap and that's why they don't really seem to last a long time. We have better luck, and I'll say better luck, that's not to say it won't run with a Rayovac battery, it will. It'll run with any AAA you find. But we find these things tend to respond better uh, with a set of actual name brand batteries. So that's step number one. You're gonna wanna change the batteries and try to use some name brand uh, AAA ones if you can. Okay, step two is just to reboot the Fire Stick, which this isn't working. So therefore you have to do it by physically unplugging it, which in the case I would show you here, right here is our Amazon Fire Stick. We're gonna power it off. So you lose your screen and then we're gonna power it back on and you should see the Amazon symbol come up here as well. Sometimes the communication just stops between the remote. This remote itself actually gets updates from the Amazon Fire Stick and sometimes those updates will mess things up or whatever. So it's really hard to say what causes it and I don't even know that I know an exact reason of what causes it, but we have had something as simple as a reboot fix this problem especially if you know you got good batteries in there, always try the reboot. All right, guys, we're gonna move into the next thing that you should absolutely try if for some reason your Fire Stick quits responding to your TV. Now, probably by this point, you're getting a little frustrated. You've changed the batteries, um, you've tried rebooting things, maybe that wasn't an easy process and you're pulling your hair out. Guys, just stick with me here. A lot of times this does fix the issue, assuming that your remote didn't go bad, which by the way, does happen. These remotes go bad. And here at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you uh, a substitute that you can get that we actually really like and it works well, and you get a couple added benefits. So if you gotta replace your remote anyway, you might as well look at doing something like that. But let's try this first. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, get the screen back to where it was, my remote's working, but we're gonna walk through the series of steps that you should try if for some reason these other steps didn't work. And the other thing I wanna throw out before we even do it is, sometimes it takes doing this two or three times before it actually kicks in. Um, of all the streaming devices out there, the Fire Stick is my least favorite for power, for syncing the remote back up to the device itself. So believe me guys, I feel your frustration, but here's a series of steps that you need to try. First, unplug your Fire Stick. So it's completely powered off. Now I've pulled the power. So the, power, the Fire Stick is shut off. Next, I want you to take out 
at least one battery on your remote. So everything is off. The TV's off, the, or the TV's on. We wanna see what's going on. This needs to be done with the TV on, okay? Don't unplug your TV, only unplug the fire stick. Okay, so the fire stick is off and our remote is not functional. It's missing a battery, it's not doing anything. So essentially this is off as well. Next, power on your Amazon Fire Stick. When you see the Amazon screen, we're gonna pop this battery in. So we'll wait, it should pop up here in a minute. There it goes. Now we see the Amazon screen. I'm gonna pop this battery back in, a fresh, good battery that we know, and I'm gonna start holding in the home button, the little house button. I'm just gonna hold it in and hold it in and hold it in and hold it in. And I'm holding it in the entire time this thing is booting up. And basically what I'm hoping is happening is, is it puts your remote in pairing mode. I don't know if you can see that blinking light, but it's telling the remote, go look for my buddy. Go look for him because I can't see him right now. So that device is coming up. This device is, we're forcing it to talk to it. And when it comes back online, a lot of times you'll see a little message saying your Fire Stick remote is connected or you know it'll just start working. You can see we're working now. Not that we weren't before, but at the end of the day, that little trick right there is what is how it's designed for you to resync your Amazon Fire Stick to your TV. Now, like I mentioned before, you may want to do it two or three times before you decide uh, maybe this remote just isn't working. But I have found even on the third try, it starts working when we know we have fresh batteries in. Obviously, the Fire Stick has been rebooted at this point and we've gone through that series of steps. Okay guys, last I wanna talk about, hey, maybe you went through all these steps and you just, hey, my remote's probably not working. The dog got a hold of it or it just stopped working. And we have had that happen. I know it's frustrating. You spent you know, money on this product, you want it to last a long time. Um, you know, some of our people, we have them last years and years and others don't make it nine months. I don't know what the magic sauce is, too much sunlight or what, but at the end of the day, if you have to replace your remote, we do actually really like this one right here. So hopefully you can read that. This is the Fire TV Alexa Voice Remote Pro. Now there's a couple benefits to doing this. It has a couple programmable buttons, which you probably wouldn't use. But for example, you could program one of these uh, spare buttons here that when you hit it, it just opens YouTube TV. That's kind of cool. Um, it also has a backlit display, which I know is a really big gripe with this one because if you're watching TV and all the lights are off and you don't know where all the buttons are, um, it will it's hard to see where you're clicking. But this one, the buttons actually light up, which is, makes it a really nice addition. So even if your other remote's working and you like that feature, take a look at this guy. Still has the Alexa, still has the power and the volume and all the other stuff. Still has some of your shortcut buttons at the bottom for like, Prime and Netflix and some of those ones that are built in. In addition, it also up at the top has a headphone button. And the headphone button actually takes you to the screen in the Amazon Fire Stick where you can sync your Bluetooth headset to your Amazon Fire Stick. This allows you to listen to your TV through your earbuds as opposed to coming out through the speakers. And this, you can actually get to that screen with one touch uh, here with this, this device here. And last, if you have an Alexa device at your home, like, a, the, like one of those smart speakers or whatnot, once this device is connected and part of your ecosystem at your house on the network and everything, you can actually tell Alexa to find my remote and it'll actually make this remote start beeping if you ever can't find it. So if it's in a couch cushion or it got kicked out of the coffee table and you can't find it, you can just say, Alexa, find my remote and it will actually make the remote start beeping so it's a little easier to find. Um, we use this at our house. I actually uh, bought one of these to kind of test it and see if there's any drawbacks. So far, I like it. I like it better than the regular Amazon Fire Stick remote. It's worked really, really well, and we have had to use that feature a couple times um, just to help find the darn thing from falling back in a couch cushion or whatever. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps you. This thing runs $29.99. You can pick them up on Amazon. I don't know if they're selling them in local stores yet, but for sure you can get them online. 30 bucks may seem like a lot for a remote, but even if you replace your Amazon Fire Stick, maybe that dies a, a little bit later, you can pair this to the new one and continue using it. So it's not like it's 
one time and that's it. You have to use it on that one. If you end up replacing the Amazon Fire Stick down the road and this remote's still working fine, you can actually pair it to your new one and use it long-term as well. So that's it guys. Uh, hopefully this helps you. These series of steps get you where you need to be. Um, as always, we appreciate you as our customers and anybody else who just happened to stumble upon this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out for us or, or reach out to us or leave a comment and we'll do our very best to get back in touch with you. Thank you for your time and happy streaming everyone.